Here inside InDesign, I have two images. The first one just here, looking inside the links panel, we can see it's a JPEG file, many thousands of pixels in terms of width and height, and it has a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which is great. It's suitable for high quality printing. This image on the right just here, I can see it's an Illustrator file full of nice vector content. And you'll notice there's no resolution because of course vector content can scale infinitely to any size and it will look great. So with that in mind, let's zoom in just a little here. So the question is, why does this graphic look so terrible? There's pixelation where there should be nice crisp lines. And if we look at this little guy over on the left just here, I'm nearly at 400% magnification and these whiskers look terribly pixelated. Yes, there should be a little bit of noise there, but nothing like this level of pixelation. So what's going on? Well, if we look up under the view menu, display performance, this is our issue just here. It's currently set to typical display. Now, I want to emphasize from the top here, guys, what we are looking at just now, this is for viewing graphics on screen only. If you have high quality assets, if you export out a PDF from InDesign, they are still going to look great, don't worry. This is purely a screen performance issue. So in the old days, when computers weren't as powerful as they are just now, it was sometimes helpful to have the images render at a lower quality on screen, just to improve the performance of your computer. So for example, if I choose display performance, fast display, this is what we get, everything just totally grays out. Now you would be able to view text in this situation, but all of the images gray out. View, display performance, set that back to typical display. What we are seeing is a mid-range proxy just here. So raster images look okay. Vector images still kind of look terrible, but you can at least see them. And if we bring this up to view, display performance, high quality display, check it out. Everything looks great. So our leaves look nice and sharp just over here, nice sharp lines and all that pixelation on those whiskers is now gone. Yes, there's some noise, but all that pixelation is gone. So fantastic. So guys, again, if you're bringing in high quality assets inside of InDesign and you're perplexed why they're looking terrible on screen, view display performance, it's probably the culprit. Just set that to high quality display. So guys, for most of you, that's probably it. But um, I'll just take a bit of a deeper dive into some of the other settings for those of you that are interested. You'll notice down here, there's an option here, allow object level display settings. So this thing up here for the view menu, for the display performance, that is for the document as a whole. It's a global setting. But if I select this guy on the left just here, right mouse click, display performance. Actually, that might be dropping off the screen there for you. Let's try bringing this up like so. There we go. So we can actually set a display performance at a per image level. So if I drop this down to fast quality, fast display, I beg your pardon, it grays out, whereas this guy remains unchanged. So you can actually do that for any number of your images through your document. Now also, if you've decided that you've made a big mess of things and you would like to quickly reset everything, you can do that from the view menu, display performance. You can actually choose to clear object level display settings. So if I do that, you notice if I come back into this image and look at its display performance settings, it's now set back to what it was at the very start. Use the view setting, which is the option just up under the view menu there. Very nice. Uh, one last thing to show you guys. So I'm on a Mac just here. So InDesign preferences uh, display performance. Those of you on a Windows machine, you can, you can find that at the bottom of the edit menu. So if we click on that, here are all of the settings for our display performance. Up here, it's set to high quality for the default view, which is fantastic. Again, if you're having some issues, maybe double check what your default setting is. And then those three settings of fast, typical, and high, we can actually change the settings just in here. So here's our raster and vector graphics. You can see for the high quality setting, they are displaying at high resolution, which is great. If we see the typical setting, raster and vector are at a mid-range proxy setting and the fast, Setting just here, raster and vector graphics are grayed out entirely. So again, if you're having issues or if you wish to take finer control of your settings, you can change them from within the settings, within the preferences here. So I'll just cancel out of there. So that's it guys. So view display performance. Um, I hope that helps with your designing. Catch you later.